Today, the Cobb County Sheriff unveiled a brand new pilot program designed to make its jail safer. Three jail bots are joining its staff for the next 90 days. 11 Live's Grace King shows us their new roles. Hello, nice to meet you. This new employee is making a sizable impression in Cobb County. Pretty tall, almost 300 pounds. Almost 300 extra pounds of eyes and ears hired to patrol these halls. It's hearing, it's, it's listening, it's seeing what's going on, and it's even seeing things that a human eye cannot see. DECA creator Dean Kamen joined Cobb County Sheriff Craig Owens on Wednesday. Sheriff Owens, we meet again. To tout Jailbot's new responsibilities. 45 days of that pilot would be patrolling functions around the facility, and the other 45 days would be patrolling functions inside facility as well. He'll try his hand at surveillance, head counts, threat detection, and other duties as assigned. As we finish our pilot program, we'll be, we'll be able to put some defensive mechanisms on it, like a taser or a uh, pepper ball, all non-lethal. Well, Sheriff Owen says Jailbot won't replace his co-workers. He could fill some critical openings. Robots don't call out sick. They don't take vacation. All they need to do is be charged. And so that's also going to help me with some efficiency as well. For now, this position is just temporary. Jailbot will have to earn his place just like his fellow deputies. After they prove that they can do what they say they can do, we'll give them a name and they get a little badge as well because they are part of our team. In Cobb County, Grace King, 11 Alive News. Very interesting. Mm, well, for yeah. now, these jail bots will be working for free. Cobb County is the first in the country to employ them and wants to make sure that they are worth the price tag. It's going to be interesting if they deploy tasers with these robots yeah. as well. They got to really. That made my ears perk up I know, there. I was like, what? Tasers?